I am so excited that you are here at the Cooking with Maria show. Today, I'm going to be sharing my bean dip recipe, but before we get started with that, let me finish up this mango salsa that I'm making. Chopping, chopping, mangoes, yum, into tiny dices. And then I put them with different chilies, cilantro, and a little bit of tomato. Delicious. Now let's get to that bean dip. I need a round bowl. I need refried beans straight out of the can. That's right, my friends, cold. Just start layering. Squish them into the pan. You can use a round pan or a rectangular pan. It doesn't really matter. First the beans. Then sometimes I put green chilies. Ortega green chilies, mild or spicy, depending on the crowd you're trying to please. These happen to be whole green chilies, but oftentimes I will buy already diced. Now that you know how to cut up anything in small dices the way I've been showing you, it's a snap to create diced green chilies. Now you can add the tomatoes in one layer, then you can move on to the cheese. Now let me explain, there are two different kinds of cheeses. Fancy, shredded, or large, shredded. For bean layer dip, you want the fancy shredded. It just works better with chips in a dip like this. Large shreds, save for those enchiladas that we're gonna make another time. Sour cream, dollops in the layers right here. You can just dollop it. You are not gonna be able to get that to be a smooth layer. Don't worry about it. It will all mix up in the end. Diced avocado. If you've been tuning into the show here, I've showed you in the past how to dice avocados. Small dices for this dip. That's what's going to work best with chips. Yum! Look at those little squares. They're perfect. Sometimes I add olives. Sometimes I add chilies straight from the batch that I was making the salsa with. I'll make salsa for you guys another time, but just put the chilies in here. I don't like to put fresh salsa in my bean dip because it's too watery with the tomatoes, but fresh chilies and a few tomatoes are perfectly fine. Keep layering. Just keep layering. On the very top layer, I like to have a little bit of every type of ingredient so my guests know what's underneath. No surprises, unless I decide to put some Tabasco or Cholula in there a little bit for a little extra kick. Jalapenos can go in here as well. Don't forget that if you're using sour cream, sometimes it gets a little bit of water accumulated on the top. Go ahead and stir it and it's fine. A lot of people don't realize that. It doesn't mean it's bad. And don't pour out that excess water. You need it for the moisture in the sour cream. Green onions are a nice addition. And some cheese on the top. Yum! Thank you so much for stopping by. Enjoy. Just keep layering. And I'm not gonna lie, avocados added to this dip. That's one of my favorite parts. They're so good for us. Mmm, I gotta try one. <laughs> Delicious. Have fun at your fiesta. And keep coming back to the show here. I am Maria, just in case you forgot. This is the Cooking with Maria show here. Check the show notes if you'd like to see how to find me. And keep coming back. Have a delicious day.